Why is this video so long? Well, in part because I'm adding shit like this at the front to make it even longer. But really though, it's because CVV did a good job on this and I wanted to give it, you know, the time that it was due because it's a really good job. They, they need to do more like this, real solid builds like this, you know, maybe fewer of the really wimpy kind of feeling knives. So that's all. Just want to let you know why this thing is a little long. That's what she said. We have here a package from MC Metal Complex. No, it's not really Metal Complex. I don't know who it's from. It's M somebody named MC, I guess. Um, yeah, I don't know where it, uh, where should say it's from? Field Lock, Marco Island, Florida. Okay, not too far away. Let's find out what's in it. Let me, um, uh, shit, I don't have a knife. I got, uh, all right, I got this. I need to open anyway. All right, so let's open this. This has a little knife in it, I think. We can check this out while we're at it, you know. We got the uh, two-piece keychain tool combo kit from Ozark Trail. We got this little um, Victorinox type knife. Oh, I like the little uh, file inside the little bottle opener thing there. It's cool. Okay, we got a blade. Very skinny, very thin blade. Not okay. It's it might be sharp to, enough to open a package. We got scissors. They feel okay. Might work. Let's see. Will they cut my uh, hobbitish finger hair? Maybe. Yeah, they cut hair. That's good. So we got the little knife, and then we got this one. It's cool. It's like a little secret spy knife because it looks like a key. Let's see. What is that? Is that a button? What does that do? No way. It's a locking. Holy crap. It's a locking knife. Look at that. It locks, and the locking thing's way up here. That's weird. Okay. I, I like this knife the best. <laughs> it's very cool. Okay. We're opening this guy. I was hoping I'd be able to get that package open. I wouldn't have to find another knife to open that knife to open this knife, which is probably a knife, you know? Okay, Civivi. I don't actually remember what the heck I got. Oh, yes, I do. Okay, yeah, yeah. This is a cool one. It's called the Synergy 3. I think it's a really cool-looking design. You know, I don't know how it's going to feel, you know, as far as... Uh, ergonomics or whatever but just a very neat looking mainly it's the uh well, it's pretty pretty nice uh all the stuff with it and everything it looks like it was in that hasn't been used well it's in the package no boy it looks pretty new okay let's try it nice good action okay lock access is pretty good wow i kind of like it Okay, Synergy 3. The main thing I like about it is just the, um, that concentric circle milling that's on the G10. It's just very cool. Is it G10? I think it is. Yeah, it's not micarta. What do we have here? We got G10 over, uh, yeah, internal liners. Boy, the G10 matches right up against those internal liners. I can't hardly tell where one stops and the other starts there. Uh, inset pocket clip down in there with the screws also inset. Boy, nice. I'm not sure who designed it. I will put their name up. Looks like somebody, oh young, put it right up here, whoever that is. But man, I'm digging this one. Let's see. No lock rock. Blade play is non-existent. Very thin and slicey. Um, the blade stock is fairly thin, not crazy thin. Let's see. This one is pretty thin. This is the Crowley. Boy, they're about the same. Send cut Crowley versus this Synergy 3. Pretty much the same. So let's say those are the same. So it's on the thin side. Here's like a, uh, a CJRB that's their typical CJRB and it's a little bit thicker.
Not much, but a little bit. And then if you're going to look at some thicker knives, I bet this uh, Kaiser is thicker. Yeah, a bit thicker. So full-size sheepdog, a little thicker. Even this send cut is probably a good bit thicker. Yep. Okay, that's all right. It's a thin boy. But the handle is actually fairly thick. You know, I can feel that big, tall duck bill right there, right in my hand. The first thing I do is put it in my hand. I can feel it poking me. Let's see. I bet I could put a mark in my hand. Let's see. Right there. Yep. So, yeah, it kind of pokes in. I'm not, like, trying to make it poke in. I'm not, like, arranging it to where it's just poking in. Now, I can arrange it to where it's not poking in too much if I get it right in that little crease right there. But if I just pick it up and grab it and do like this, yeah, I'm getting it poked into my hand right there. Mm -hmm. Now, that doesn't mean you will, but it does on me. Lock access could be a hair better, but, man, it's not bad. I love the blade shape. Very cool. Sharpening choil on point. Pun intended. Looks like it's a... Uh, non-spinning um, pivot there so pretty cool oh it looks like they flattened out that's pretty slick they flattened out the area right under where the pocket clip hits so you're not doing the washboard thing as you put it in your pocket lanyard holes nice not too crazy a little backspacer i think is g10 also yeah i kind of like this man it really needs a nice looking a pocket clip one of the black titanium pocket clip it would be great it could use a little more access to the liner uh, to the liner lock on this side let's see is it that side yeah because the other side feels pretty good that could come down just a hair and then that could come down on the inside edge just a hair and you'd have some really good lock access it's kind of unusual the way they have this milling done on this uh, outside edge usually the outside edge isn't quite as pretty as this on most knives like uh let's see not sure if that's a fair comparison yeah you can't really see that very well okay here is one that's kind of similar it has the liners down inside but it's just a flat uh edge with just a slightly radiused corner. This one has a very, very radius, nice rounded corner on it. It's really well done, very different. It's funny, it almost seems like it's like a molded plastic, but it's not, it's, it's milled G10, so. I kinda like it, man, I like it a lot. Let's see, is it drop shutting? No, but just very lightly uh, shake shutting. I love how the, uh, Flipper tab is just barely showing here. Like um, for, uh, let's see. Here's a Rook that has a pretty small flipper tab, and it still kind of pokes out more than this one does. Yeah, I don't think there's going to be too many that are smaller. That one's pretty small too. Those are pretty close. In general, most flipper tabs stick out more than that one does. So it's a very minimal flipper tab, which is nice. And it's very grabby. They have a, uh, that is so smart. You know, we always tell them, we meaning us super smart uh, knife reviewers who haven't built shit in the way of knives, who think we know everything. We tell them, wrap the, uh, this knurling, not fucking knurling, what's it called? Jimping. Wrap the jimping around the corner if you have a rounded corner. Okay, and that's what they did. Did a good job got a very rounded radius spine on the blade it's very interesting very cool big swedge up at the top to thin out the blade lighten it up pretty decent sound nothing spectacular but good I like it a lot man I think you have to like this look you know you have to like this look and if you don't like this look it's just going to be okay, you know, whatever. But to me, the that milling is pretty cool. Pretty excellent. It's 
get this shit out of the way. Not shit. I mean, they're perfectly good uh, knife things. Did it come uh, nice and sharp from the factory? Let's find out. Okay, pretty sharp. Okay, it could be a little sharper, but not bad. Here, I got a piece of paper here. That might be better. Yeah, I'd say it's pretty sharp. It's about 90% as sharp as I would make it, so. Not bad, not bad, Savivi. I think this is a pretty nice piece. I'm digging it. How's the centering? I would say it is pretty good. Yeah, other than the pocket clip sticking up a little bit farther than it needs to, and really it just needs a nice titanium milled pocket clip. It's going to look great on there. Pretty sweet little knife. What's the size on this guy? I want to say it's like a 3.4 inch. That's my guess. I'm looking around for a tape measure. Oh, I got this thing over here. Okay, I said 3.4. No, 3.25. Three and a quarter. Maybe a hair over, but right around three and a quarter. Okay, so it's, you know, it's, it's a small medium. Medium small. Medium small knife. It doesn't feel like it, though. It's funny. The handle feels like a full-size knife. Uh, pretty much. I mean, yeah. It's all there. Interesting. It's a little bit thicker than your average knife. Doesn't bother me any. Uh, let's see, this Crowley is well, about the same as the Crowley. Interesting. I'd say it's on the thicker side, given that it's a three point three and a quarter inch blade. Uh, three and a quarter inch blade knife, usually a little smaller. But, man, I like it a lot. Uh, I think... It's a Civivi version of a Wii knife. If I remember right, there's a Wii Synergy. I, and I wonder if it has the same milling. I don't look at Wii stuff too much. Most Wii stuff's a little bit out of my price range. Uh, like, you know, their lowest end stuff usually starts around 300 So it's kind of out of my uh, normal day-to-day -day buying. So I don't look at it. But I think uh, it's a, oh, there's a Wii Synergy, if I remember right. I'm not sure if there's a Wii Synergy 3. I'll put up here whatever Wii has that's uh, related and I guess there was a Synergy 1 and 2 in Civivi. I don't know. We'll look at that, too, and see if that's something I can put up here. If not, I'll just say, nope. Something like that, you know. All right. Wii Synergy 3. Cool knife. I dig it. Quick update. Uh, I did the little relief cut right there to let your uh, thumb get down to the uh, lock bar a little easier. This side, I lowered this edge some and then refinished it this is some really nice g10 i don't know if there's different like levels of g10 but this is good stuff another cool thing that i discovered there's no liner in the side except for an insert this is so cool this insert fits so perfectly in here like nasa level fit that the uh, little pin that's the stop pin and then the pivot is held in with steel uh, instead of plastic, or instead of G10, which is great. I really appreciate that. I don't like pins just stuck in G10. I think that's not the coolest. Uh, this thing will just come right out, I think. There we go. All right, so let's put this guy back together. Uh, I'll use um, I'll use my super fast uh, knife putting back together our powers that I have. Stay right Just too cool to push you down. I'm not above it. So if you ever Whew. Okay, I think that was probably a record. A new record on how fast I can put knives together. I'm usually super fast, but that felt like the caffeine was really working. <clears throat>
I don't know if you can see, but there's just a little more access to that liner lock than there was before, even on this side, because that's sometimes what stops you, you know, that, that far side sometimes. Let's see, is it poking me now any because it's sticking up a little bit more? Eh, maybe I can feel it. Yeah, if it is, it's not much. But man, it's just nice to be able to unlock it with no issues. I would have liked to have beveled that uh, metal piece a little bit, put a 45 on that, but then it would show it and be all silver and look ugly. So, better off a little pain. So, I really like this thing a lot. I got a, another pocket clip I'm going to put on, a black one. I couldn't find it though, so I might have to buy another one. Anyway, with the, with the uh, little thumb stud dealie on there, we can... We can thumb stud flick it, we can reverse flick it, we can do all the flicking. So, Civivi, uh, what the heck was this stupid thing called? <laughs> Whatever it's called, man. Synergy, was it? Synergy? No. Uh, fuck, I don't remember what the hell it was called. It don't matter. I'll put it up here. <laughs> Have a nice day.